Shalom. Yahweh which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to call God, Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name of the Heavenly Father, his only begotten Son is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shalom also to you. Brothers, you acting that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Shem Shah. Shalom to you, acting once again. Shalom also to this life form, the speckled bird, man, when the child whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers. Though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, are the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back. To these people, as you see here on this chart, through the man, and if his spirit bear witness with his word, the truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, when the child just does apply to you, you are Israelites, though, once again, you do look like the heathen, you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people in this chart, so you will have Israelites come looking like the other nations, but they're indeed Israelites, because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 to 15, verse 1 down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they are the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man, no matter what they come looking like. If their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also, to the few Aqua, a few, few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, believe, and do honor to your husband, Shalom, to the elect of Israel, whatever it may be, Shalom to you as well. To your so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you could bond consist and make up. The twelve tribes of Israel, you are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people, the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who the world is called Jesus Christ. Once again, Yahweh Shah. And uh, I just want to um, it's right quick. All right, Salaki. So um, you no know, back, but uh, I had seen this video and um, I just wanted to basically do a topic on it, so I'm just gonna let it play. But uh, it just shows you how the influence of America has, you know, spread throughout the four corners of the earth. And these people have been made drunk, which I'm just going to let the video play for a little bit. I'm not going to play the whole video. It's not really, you know, nothing uh, to go into, really, but just to play it. You're stopping coffee today, my lady. I do? Oh, it's cool here. It's crazy. Oh, just a bunch of people. Hey, uh, I heard you got a nomination or something. Yeah, What's I going on with that? Uh, Golden Force, which is uh, Asian All-Star, Academy Award nominated for Best Lead oh Actor. I'm very excited. I'm going to Taipei. They're going to quarantine me for 14 days in the hotel. Oh, wow. Do you believe I'm going to stay in the hotel. I'm very excited. Okay. It's for my movie called The Abortionist, a Hong Kong movie. Okay. It's the Abortionist? Very what? What's it called? presidential elections? Oh, no. yes. I, I watched the last debate. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, it's a show in a way. You know, I, I, I hope that they are doing it for people, not just to trying to impress somebody, trying to win for the power of it. Do you have any, uh, be humble. Do you have any choice in the uh, presidency? Me? Yes. I think uh, I, I, I don't want to get into trouble. Oh, with who? Uh, I think I'll vote for Donald Trump. Woo! We got a Trump 2020 here. No good. No, no, you're, because, you're amazing. Uh, <laughs> because I think uh, I, I think he's uh, he's not a politician. You know, there's more freedom and for economy. All right, so I got what I needed, but what made me want to do this video is like this is a a Moabite woman, of course. You know, a Moabite woman, which is a so-called Chinese woman. You see, and if you see what see what she got on, you see. Look what she got on, and and, and and you the tire, you know, that she got on, you know, it just showed, because the tire she got on reminds you of the tire that the average, you know, woman in America, okay, where is, man? Okay, and I'm going uh, to, 
I didn't put anything together, but I'm going to get a few scriptures. This probably ain't going to be long, but it's going to be to the point. You know, but the influence of America has uh, spread throughout the four corners of the earth. You see? So let me get, uh, I think it's Revelations 13. Start off with that. All right. It says, let me see. All right. And it says, all right. And I, this is Revelation 13 3. And it says, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, which is just going into what? The uh, ancient pagan Roman Empire. You see? Which, if you go into um, the book of Daniels, you know, you got uh, the uh, that, that fourth piece, which was uh, Rome. But, the you know, ancient Rome, that what? It fell. You see? It, 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 it collapsed. Okay, and Esau, which Esau, he was the so-called white man, his lineage, he went down because he was ruling that. And then what? And it says, and his daily wound was healed. Okay, and how was it healed? It was healed, okay, through America, the EU, and NATO, man. Okay, which make up this uh, new Rome. Okay, that's how it was healed, and it, it came back in the play during you know the uh the, you know the Renaissance. You see. After Jake fell during the Dark Ages, you see, but uh, it says, and all the world wandered after the beast, and this is more proof that the world is wandering after the beast, especially the women, man. You see, and real quick, this is uh Revelation seventeen, and uh. We get to the point. Let me see. No, I, I just started one then. You know, this is Revelation 17 and 1. It says, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven veils and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore, which that great whore is America that sitteth upon many waters. Which, if you go in the 15th verse, you no, know, just to anybody that's new. I always do, but it says, and he said throw unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse if are peoples, multitudes, and nations and tongues. So the different nations, man. Okay? With whom the kings of the earth, okay, these other leaders, you know, of these other nations, these heathen leaders, you know, says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And speaking of the philosophies, the mindset, you see. Of the, who? The serpent, man. The serpent, a.k.a. Esau Edom, man. Okay? These people have been made drunk. Especially Moab. You see? Moab indeed, man. You see Moab, you know, alongside Jake, go the hardest to be like these devils, man. You see? It says, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, which that woman, okay, is, is, is that uh, harlot, man, that America, man. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And it's going to the structure, you see? Going into the structure of this system, you know? Ten horns is uh, EU, man, okay? And it says, and the woman was arrayed in purple, which purple is synonymous for royalty, you see? And it says, in scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup. And her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And the, the stones and the gold and the pearls is going basically into the riches of this, this uh, America, man. The wealth that America has. And upon her forehead was a name written. Mystery Babylon the Great. The mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth, man. So this place is the mother of all harlots, man. You see? Where to be and dress, you know, and to act like a harlot is, you know... It's royalty, you see? And the world has, you know, took on that. And if you actually go into the word harlot, it says porna, porna, and it says a woman who sells her body for sexual uses, a prostitute, a harlot, one who yields herself to defilement for the sake of gain. You see? Let me see. 
Wow, look here. It says, of Babylon, Rome, the chief seat of idolatry. You see? Now you got to keep going, man. And this is hardly a tire, but like I said, America pushes that, you know, to dress like that. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's sexy, it's beautiful, which, I mean, to the flesh, okay, it is beautiful, you see? But you got to think about it. The scriptures say, let that uh, woman, which is really, you know, going to our laws, but you even these other nations, they have, you know, certain laws where their women are to be covered up. For example, Ishmael, you see, which is the so-called Arabs, you see? And um, even, you know, these other uh, 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 nations, man, you see? But now you're starting to uh, see it take place within their nation, man, you see? And, and going into Moab, because like I said, Moab go uh, uh, hard, you know, okay, to be like Esau, man. You see? Let me get, um, an apocrypha real quick. All right, so second Ezra's, I think it's fifteen. I always get mixed up. I think it's the forty-six. And this shows you that it's just it's over too. Everybody's bugged out off this man's uh uh, uh Babylon juice, man. Off these philosophies, man, these beliefs. You see? People are bugged out off of it. And they and they so bugged out that they don't even realize they're bugged out. They think this is normal. It's not normal. You see? This whole, you know, when things gonna go back to normal. It was never normal. This place was never normal to begin with, man. You see? Alright. No, because the Lord going to destroy this place, man. All right. This is, uh. Let me see. I'm seeing what I'm going to start at. This is, uh, 2nd Nezus 15. Let me see. I'll just get to the point. It's the second there's 15 and 40. Uh, Forty-six. I'll start with 46. It says, Thou Asia, thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon. Okay, American are the glory of a person, man. Okay? And, and, and you got to ask yourself. You uh, look at America. You got, uh, just look at America. Then you look at China. You see, China what? They got a McDonald's. You see? No, they got, uh, uh, when it comes to the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, which you, if you are Israelite, you are so called Negro, Latino, Native American, you shouldn't take that. But, uh, when it comes to the RFID, uh, chip technology and also this cash in society, who are at the front of this, man, of this agenda? It's Moab, okay, and it's America, man. Why is that not a coincidence? You see? And it says, and, you know, like I said, I always bring out, if you look at the Edomite here in America, okay, their whole, you know, uh, 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 you know, Congress and all that in the White House, what do you notice? They always wear them business suits, man. Then when you look at Moab, what do you see Moab wear? Business suits. And it's not just Moab, it's the rest of these other nations as well, man. But I'm speaking to Moab, man. You see? It says, woe be unto thee, thou wretched, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And as death thy daughter. And another thing is, before I finish it, if you look at America's, American cities, you look at their downtown areas, then you go and look at Asia, you know, major cities, and then and look at their downtown areas, it looks basically damn near the same. You see? So... I'm going to get this. It says, Woe be unto thee, thou wretched, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom. This is an example. You see? And that's what made me do this video. You see? Because if you look, 
at Beijing, China, just one of them, uh, it's a, a main city of China. You got also other cities. Do you see them wearing this type of attire in uh, uh, China, over in China? You see? Like this, for instance. I didn't mean to hit the video, but... Our Beijing city tour shows you a ton of things to do in the city, but starts off with food and China's most popular dish, Peking duck. Mmm. Like that. Oh, uh, let me go back. You see? That's what they originally wore before, you know, they've been made, you know, drunk off Esau's, you know, BS philosophies, man. Okay? Peking duck is the signature dish of Beijing. And uh, to hell with it, but that right there. That's the original attire, okay? But now that's been uh, swapped with what you saw in that video that I recently played, man. You see? Now your uh, daughters are walking around in Harlot's attire too, man. A attire too, you see? And it says that they might please and glory in thy lovers, America, which have desired, who, which have always desired to commit hoarding with thee, man. You see? These Moabites always want to come in and Moab and eat them when it comes to uh you Israelites, okay? They your main adversaries. They were the top adversaries of us, you know, back then. They still the top adversaries now, man. They were always, you know, in cahoots with each other, man. So it's not a coincidence to see this. But it says, Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, it says Yahweh, which that's the point, you see? The Lord hates America, man. You following after America, you gonna what? You gonna receive the same pledge. You gonna receive the same judgment as America, man. You see? Let me get that. Right? The Lord gonna. gonna you already seen the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord on the earth, and you seen the Lord. Devouring this place, man. Okay? And you know America being in power. As America fall, what's going to happen? Everybody else is falling. But let me get this. Let me see. I'm going to start it. All right, I'll just start at Isaiah 13 and 4, okay? It says, the noise, right? The noise of a multitude is in the mountains, like as a, of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord, Yahweh of hosts, muster of the host of battle. And this is going into, um, you know, the Third World's War as well, man. You see? You got the uh the Lord's army, which is elect. You got his uh uh his angels, the angels and the chariots. You got all these things, man. You see? And they're coming to what? They're coming against Babylon the Great, man. The mother of harlots, the abomination of the earth, man. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. What's the weapon of his indignation? It's really the uh that's gonna destroy the whole land within the hour, like it says in the book of Revelations. It's the missiles, man. Only the missiles could do that, and not just a missile, a whole ton of missiles, man. Millions of them. You see? And uh it says, How ye for the day of the Lord Yahweh is at hand. Okay? The day of what? Jacob's trouble, the day of the heathen. You see? As it says in the book of Obadiah as well. But it says it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty Yahweh. Therefore shall all hands be faint, every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames, man. Okay? Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh, cruel, broth with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sins thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof Shall not get their light. You seeing these celebrities? They're being brought low. Okay, isn't they're no longer uh, you know, they seek attention. They get these people attention. That's no longer the case anymore. Cause people they feeling basically judgment coming down. Okay, their lives is being destroyed. You know, but it says the sun shall be darkened and is going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their for their evil. 
and the wicked for their iniquity. Which the wicked nation, the wicked sea line, okay, is the nation of Edom. They're the wicked, man. And they spread wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth, as you can see. You see? So now everybody is falling after them, okay? And, and, and enjoy falling after this devil. You're the wicked as well. You see? For their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy, which is the pride of the proud, to cease. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man in the golden wedge of Ophir, which that's the elect man. That's the Israelite elect man. Okay? Not just any man. Any, uh, uh, elect Israelite man of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Okay? They're going to be seen as precious, man. Because right now, which is not the case anymore because he's falling, but before this devil was seen as uh the most precious man on the planet Earth. You see? But the Lord is uh, uh taking that away, stripping that from him, and he knows it, okay? And everybody else can feel it. But it says, therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, in the day of his first anger. And it shall be as a chaste road, as the sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. This is happening already, okay? A lot of people are returning to their own people. A lot of people are uh, 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 getting back, to, going back to the original country. This is another thing you're seeing is um, you're seeing country versus country. Like the scriptures say, kingdom against kingdom. You got Turkey going at it with France. Well, not well, the whole uh, you know, Islamic you know nation going against France, man. Okay, you got Armenia, uh, Azerbaijan. If I said that word right, you know, I always get that name. You know, mixed up. I think I said it right, but it don't matter. You see, you got that going on. You got, what is it? Um, I think it was uh, China. And you got Taiwan. I'm not sure if it's Ty China and Taiwan. You know? But you got all these nations head to head, toe to toe with each other, man. You see? Everybody's going back to their own country. Everybody's looking at the opposite nation as the enemy. As the Lord originally set things up. The Lord didn't set... Up the nations to be together, to be one under one banner as they're trying to push with this new world order, man. Okay? It says, here's the point. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined onto him shall, shall fall by the sword, man. Just like Moab, you know, is, is, is joined on to America like it is. You see, uh, the so called Chinese, you won't fall with this devil, man, because another thing is, the new, the new talk of the town has has been that if America falls, then China's going to take its spot. You see, China's going to be the next world superpower. You see, that's not going to happen. That's not what the prophecy say. The prophecy clearly says that when this man falls, you see, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob was Jacob is the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and those Israelites that look like the other nations, they're going to be next to rule, man. Nowhere in the scripture does it say Moab, okay, it's going to be next. You see, Moab, you're going to fall. You know, with this devil, man, alongside all you other heathens, man, all y'all going to fall. You see? Because for one, you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. Two, like I said, you're following after this man. You see? He's the head and you're the tail. Okay? Then you just got Jake, but you're going to fall with him. You know? Alright, so this is uh Jeremiah 25, you know, and in uh 14. It says, For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. For thus said the Lord Yahweh of, of, of Lord Yahweh of Israel, unto me take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And they shall drink, you know, and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then took I the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink whom unto whom the Lord Yahweh has sent, sent me. To wit, Jerusalem and Caesar, Judah, and the kings thereof, and the princes thereof, to make 
them a desolation and astonishment and a hissing and a curse as it is to this day. And, you know, this was going back then, but it could even apply to now. Because you still got the wicked two-thirds that's on the planet, man. That's falling after the way the heathen as well. Okay, and the kings could represent these celebrities, these pastors, you know, the uh, politicians as Jake. You see, anybody that's not with Yahweh about Shema Shah, it's going to happen to them. You see, now keep going. It says, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mangled people, and all the kings of the land of Uz, the, all the kings of the land of the Philistines, the a Ashkelon, Azah, Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod, which Ashdod is over in the land of Israel. Okay? And you know, that's uh, who's dwelling over there? Amalek. Okay? Edom. Okay, you know who that is. We say it every video. Moab, you Chinese, and the children of Ammon, the Japanese. And all the kings of Tyrus and all the kings of Zidon, you Hamites, so-called Africans. You know? And the kings of the isles which are beyond the sea. Dedan, which is a tribe of um, Edom again, it says, Tima and Buzz and all that are in the utmost corners. And all the kings of Arabia and all the kings of the Mingle people that dwell in the desert. And all the kings of Zimri and all the kings of Elam. You know, the so-called East Indians and all the kings of the Medes, the Russians, and all the kings of the north, far and near, with one with another, and all the kings of the world, which are upon the face of the earth. And the king of Shishak shall drink after them, man. You see? It says, Therefore thus thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, The God of Israel drank ye, and be drunken, and spew, and fall. And rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink. Then shall thou say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, Ye shall certainly drink. Okay? And it says, For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city, which is... Alright, that's it. Okay? That's it. But that's what's going to happen. You see? You want to uh be like this place? You won't fall like this place. The Lord's gonna make America an example of what not to be. You see, like it's like it says in the book of uh, First and Second Peter's, man. So I'm gonna end it there. Call her Lord, like Yahweh by Shema Usha, Yahweh Ratzaz. This was edifying. Baba Gesha, Baba Baba, Baba Baba, Baba Ha Ayapia, Baba Ha Ayapia. Shalom to the elect and to the few. Aqua after that, do listen, learn. Shalom.